they have that kind of mindset where they're like, well, what are you saying? Now, what I always make sure of doing is speaking in a language and, and using examples from their world so that it becomes real to them. So, for instance, I can ask a question like, when you have a really great idea, when you've, when you've you know, been thinking about a problem that you've had and, and suddenly you have a great idea, where does it come from? When does it come? And they kind of are taking it back a little bit and then they go, oh, I often get great ideas in the shower. Or, oh, when I, when I go for a walk with my dog or play with my kids, you know, and I'm like, isn't that interesting? Why do you think that is? Where does it come from? And now I'm already just in that conversation going from something that's so, well, we have to solve this problem to, yeah, but where does the problem solving come from? So now we're starting to go from the world of form with the challenges and the issues that are there to the formless world, the principles world where the solutions are. So, so that transition to even start talking about there's something that's the problem and then there's a, a space where solutions seem to be that we access more easily when we're not thinking about it. Now, this is an experience that every single adult person have had. There's nobody who, who says, no, no, that never happens. I only find solutions when I really think hard about it. Never happened. So I use examples like that, lots of them. So many that people go, oh, oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, when I, when I have look impossible. I see that. You're right. Oh, when that happens, then. So, so there's so many examples. Um, that that they just kind of go but of course so once they've seen oh yeah that this these things are going on right in front of my eyes i just don't notice so i'm pointing to towards something that's true and that's really my superpower that i'm speaking about truth it's not something i've invented there's no theories that that document it it's 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 documented through life through our own lives so if I touch something that's true to the individual, of course they're going to go, oh yeah. And especially if I don't try and convince them. Trying to convince something is always going to get people in their ego and then they're going to try and fight me. But first of all, I know this is true. I've seen it. I know it in my own life. I've seen it in thousands of people's lives that have changed because of this. So there's a, there's a grounding in where, I, where I'm coming from that people can feel. That's the one thing. And the other thing is using examples from their life where they go, oh yeah, gosh, I can like in a group, I'll go, so do you, do you know the experience of you have a challenging an assignment you have to do, a project you're doing? Sometimes of the day, especially if you haven't slept well, it seems impossible and you're never going to get through it. And then at some point that changes and you're suddenly like, oh, and you do it. And 20 minutes later, it's done. Everybody goes, yeah. Well, why do you think that is? Where do you think that comes from? So it's really about talking about and taking examples from, from people's lives that every single human being know. All of them. <laughs>